What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new episode here in our e-commerce century community. Today I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of people in the e-commerce space, they do not talk about. I've seen several courses. I have courses myself at trainings and pretty much nobody talks about this in their trainings. Nobody explains why. It's like a little secret that nobody wants to give out and I'm going to give it out to you guys right now. It is super simple, but it could change a lot in your business. If you're not subscribed to our channel, make sure that you're subscribed. We're always uploading content every single week on how to start, how to grow, how to manage, how to scale your dropshipping businesses. What we're talking about today, you can apply it to your eBay store, your Walmart store, your Amazon store, and it's simply changing your store name at least once every single month. People are going to say, hey, man, this is my store name. This is my business name. I want to keep it like this. I have a logo. I don't care if you have a logo. Nobody cares if you have a logo or if you have something done for your store. You got to change it every single month. And I'm going to explain why. First thing first, and this is not proven 100%, but it tends to boost your sales a little more because eBay sees it now as a brand new store, as a name that has not been in the market before. A lot of the students that personally work with me have tried it and they say that they have seen growth in their, in their sales. This is not proven. But the reason number one why you got to change your store name is for protection. Number one is going to be protection from people that are taking advantage of your store, right? There are people that are just toxic to your store, that they order around the products and they just start asking for returns or they're complaining. They The product arrives fine and then they start saying that the product did not arrive or it arrived cracked, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So first thing first, change the name in the store. To avoid those people that are taking advantage of your store and of your VAs. Because remember, most of the time you are not doing the customer service. It's your VAs. And your VAs have protocols to follow. And they're most likely just going to, re to refund this person. And this person is taking advantage of your store. So change the name of your store. And also just block this person. Add it to your block buyers on eBay. If you don't know how to do that. Uh, you can either send me a question, a DM uh, through Instagram. I'll take care of that for you. Or we're most likely going to cover that in a future video as well. And the other reason why you want to change the store name is because, hey, we're all dropshippers. It's a huge community. There's more and more people doing dropshipping every single month. And the number one strategy that there is to dropship is called sniping. It involves saving the store's name from people that are already dropshipping and using their best selling products. So if you don't want somebody else, another drop cheaper to have your store and be taking products away from your store, your best seller products away from your store and listing them in their stores, then just change your store name every single month. As simple as that. And it's going to help you a lot in your business. Those are just some tips. And I'm glad I'm talking about this because I've been in this route for a while. And nobody ever told me this. Uh, nobody, ever, I never saw this on any type of trainings, but I've noticed that it does work. And after I did it, uh, I commented it to a few of my friends and actually a few of them said that they were already doing it. So it's not something new. People do it. People change the store name. So whatever you got to do, you got to change your logo, you change it, but change your store name every single month. And I'm going to show you right now how to do it. So go here, now go to your account settings. Now go where it says business information. Remember this is an account that I use to do demonstration and trainings. This is now my personal account. Now where you see that it says username, all you gotta do is click at it. And then just type in the new username, guys. Super simple. Type in the new username. Then you just click save. It's going to take you out. It's going to ask you for a password confirmation. So just confirm your password. All right. Get your confirmation now.
and there you go you have your new store name if you want to save it you can save it I'm gonna add it here real quick I'm gonna leave it like that at the end of the day I use this account for a demonstration so that's pretty good and guys that's how you can change the store username every single time you want and I suggest you do it at least once a month and just go back to the beginning of this video so you can listen to everything again the reasons why it is good to do it and share with other dropshipper friends that need to hear this information don't keep this information for yourself because knowledge without being applied it is not knowledge at all so share with as many people as possible so you can help out others as well guys remember to subscribe to our channel here in our e-commerce century community go follow me as well on instagram at underscore christian de Paz. business page is e-commerce century just like that we're always posting a lot of videos regarding e-commerce motivational videos entrepreneurship etc and leave your likes and comments below with any questions you may need help with i'll see you in the next video